On a worksheet, select the range of cells that you want to include in the table. The cells can be empty or can contain data. On the Insert tab, in the Tables group, click Table. Keyboard shortcut is Ctrl plus L or Ctrl plus T. If the selected range contains data that you want to display as table headers, select the My Table Has Headers checkbox. After you create a table, the table tools become available. The range is now a fixed table structure and new options such as sorting and filtering are now enabled. Applying the filter keeps the relationship between the columns while sorting and filtering. You can use the tools on the design tab to customize or edit the table. You can select formatting of your choice. There is another method of creating a table. On the worksheet, select a range of empty cells or cells that contain the data that you want to quickly format as a table. On the Home tab, in the Styles group, click Format as Table. When you use Format as Table, Excel automatically inserts a table. Unchecking the My Table Has Headers option allows you to create a dedicated header if you do not already have it. You can change the names of columns, if you want. After you create a table, a design tab is displayed. Note that the design tab is only visible when a cell in the table is selected. You can delete a table without losing the data or table formatting. Click anywhere in the table. This displays the design tab. On the design tab. In the tools group, click convert to range. Table features are no longer available after you convert the table back to a range. For example, the row headers no longer include the sort and filter arrows. Thank you.